Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, time to start a new project now on the channel, or continue with one, I should say. I'm going to uh, start on my working on my ambulance bus again that I had posted previously, and I think uh, I think most everybody can can see these pictures up here. Uh, as you can tell from from looking at all these photographs, I may be in too far. Uh, if you just do a simple Google search, I just typed in ambulance bus, and there are literally hundreds of photographs on here. Uh, looking through this this morning, one thing I did notice is that a lot of these don't have any side windows in them simple bus door probably has some access out the back but I thought okay that that kind of sets me up for somewhat of a successful concept build here because I don't have to model in any windows and basically not do the interior i was i was kind of hung up on on how i would do the actual interior of this bus here's one from chicago as you can see here's a another one from arlington county fire department i think that's in texas but that gives me that gave me the the general ideal in uh so far this is what we've uh came up with what I've been working on all day let me get this get this down here so you guys can see my madness so i i i do believe uh I'm going to have to probably hold this as I talk. So this is what we've got up so far. We, we, we made running boards for it this morning. Uh, I cut new sidewalls to have no windows in them. Uh, we worked on establishing a floor to uh, maintain our ride height on this. So let me go ahead and, and take this off. And I'll talk about it a little bit more. So I think as you remember, I started with an American LaFrance Aero Chief frame. And I just added some, some styrene to it to, to stiffen it up. I moved the engine to the back. I, I cut it just just to have the bottom portion showing. We uh, added our rear wheels, our dualies back here, and I mounted that uh, axle backwards. So I have to come up with some type of uh, drive shaft for that. And don't know yet what I'm going to do there, but that's our frame. And then here. On our actual bus body, uh, I added some quarter inch by quarter inch solid styrene rod in here to stiffen up the, the side walls. So now the whole thing is one solid piece. And then I added a, a plate on the bottom with these two pieces of strip styrene here that locate our uh, our frame so let's see if i can do this one-handed we put the frame in at an angle in the back and we just push it down and then these two pieces line up our frame each time so that we are straight and square so there's no, there's no guesswork on if the frame is straight, if it's level, 
I, I kind of already predetermined all that. I still have the top yet to do. I did wrap around, you'll see back here, some sheet styrene to the inside of the cab on both of them. And then I will take another piece of 30 thousandths sheet styrene and glue it around here, try to conceive the, the same uh, shape of this kit cab. And what I can't uh, achieve with the plastic, that's when we will start filling in with, with Bondo. Now I will, I will put in a, uh, a blacked out wall probably back here to, to hide all this, but I will, the plan is anyway to insert the, uh, the cab or the kit interior cut it and drop it down so that it looks like you can gain access and go to the back. Of course, back here, uh, most of all of this will be filled in with Bondo. And the only thing I, I, I plan on leaving is the kit logo and probably the, uh, the shallow areas. We will make those our, our tail lights and our turn signals. Fill these in. And then, of course, we'll put, you know, we'll make uh, emergency lights for, for all of it. And But then again, you know, this is just a concept build. Uh, I'm, I'm starting with two American La France uh, cabs. We scratch built the, the front and rear bumpers for them. Uh, both identical and then we're just we're kind of going for it we're winging it uh this will definitely be the only model in existence <laughs> uh, of this so you know there there's no telling where the road will lead but you know it is something that that was used it's still being used like i said there's literally hundreds if not probably thousands of photographs online of these things and uh you know i i was looking at these and, and kind of thought you know what why not why not do something like that i think it'll be a it'll be a neat build and uh i hope you guys stay tuned i plan on trying to uh design in the top for this here shortly i'm also thinking about uh adding some sty styrene strips you know kind of around like this to help uh, you know match up here of course it won't be like that it'll be lower but it'll give me some support around it is what i'm trying to say but uh I hope you guys uh, follow along with me in this, uh, shall I say, daring ideal. But we'll we'll see where it goes and see how long I can stick with it. All right, thanks for watching.